Hi everyone, I'm any New Province, and I just finished up the league with Ocular Druid Combo. This combo can be so fast, and you've even got the backup plan of some Glistener Elves. Anyway, you can put your entire library into your hand with a Devoted Druid in whatever match you want by clicking on the timestamps in the description down below. While you're down there, if you wouldn't mind liking the video or subscribing to the channel, I'd seriously appreciate it. It's a great way to let me know you've enjoyed everything, and it really encourages me to keep making great popper content. Thank you so much for watching, and enjoy the league! Ooh, okay. We're on the play. That's good news. Let's see what happens. All right, so we're shipping this. There's no devoted druid. We just got a couple of pump spells and a lotus petal. Let's see what happens. All right, this one has druid. It has our mana. We can hit a couple of cantrips or our commune with the gods and potentially go off here. So I'm going to keep this. We even have ways to protect the druid, um, even after committing it on turn two. So I'm going to keep... And we're going to go bottom, shape the sands, because we might not have enough mana to take advantage of it right away. So go ahead and play island. I like holding onto the lotus petals because they let you cast cantrips during the combo sometimes. The London Mulligan is on the go. Okay, we're playing against Affinity. Uh, maybe not. Well, I've seen Preordain and Affinity before. This could still be Affinity. Let's see how they go. They don't probably don't know what island means unless they saw the deck tech and they are incidentally a fan of the show. So one on top, one on bottom. They're going to pass. Yeah, it could be blue bots as well. That'd be cool. Journey to Nowhere are pretty good against our deck. And our protection. Ooh, Glistener Elf. Hmm. Well, given that my opponent isn't doing anything, and that I wouldn't mind a Lightning Rod here, I think I'm going to go ahead with Glistener Elf. And we'll play Lotus Petal just in case we have to protect it with Vines. I doubt we will, and I don't want to. But... That's a that's a possibility. If our opponent doesn't do anything over the next couple turns and we draw the right pump spells, we might just win with Infect, which I'm fine with. That's why Glistener Elf is in here. So we will see. Yeah, where are they? <laughs> there are popper players who don't watch me. <laughs> they have days and they can't cast it, and they're like real mad. They're like, why can't I cast this days? PJ Salt. <laughs> Alright, there's some red mana, so we'll see what this is. Prophetic Prism, not too scary there. So I'm thinking this is the combo version of Affinity. Alright, what do we draw? Commune with the gods. Alright, let's do that first. If we hit Ocular Halo, we might not want to cast any pump spells here. We don't, but we do hit Seal of Strength. Um, which means I think next turn we can win. We don't have Trample. Okay, so if we go Seal of Strength, that's 3, 5, so we can hit for 6. But it doesn't have Trample, so we'll just attack here. What's up, Snat DVD? How you doing? And we'd have to draw another green source to kick Vines. So maybe it was correct to Seal there, but... Anyway, opponent's at 1 Poison. We did not hit the rest of the combo. No, no bacon. Oh, nice. Well, it's always good to be on holidays. Are you finished school for the semester or something like that? Opponent, going to go for green-red. So, Carapace Forger. Cool. Yeah, exactly. And this axe is a pretty good lightning rod, too. So, if our opponent has a Galvanic Blast, we might not have to blow all of our pump spells trying to do something about that. Alright, so let's go get green mana, first and foremost. And we'll offer to... Maybe we offer to trade our Seal of Strength with Carapace Forger? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, we could just kill their creature with our pump spells. I don't really want to use Mutagenic Growth here, though. But I think that's correct. So let's Seal of Strength. Go to combat and attack. See if our opponent blocks. They do. All right. So I think our creature surviving here is important enough that I'll use up a mutagenic growth. So let's sack seal, mutagenic growth. Because it's keeping pressure on our opponent, I don't really want to leave up kicked vines here, I don't think. So we will we'll pay mana. So it goes up to a 6-6. Six, six. Their creature dies. We pass. But the chances of us comboing off now are 
pretty small. All right, Chromatic Star. If our opponent doesn't hit another creature, we might be okay. I mean, we're pretty low on cards. They did get to Thought Cast. See if they have a removal spell coming. Just another Carapace Forger? Sure. What do we draw? Ocular Halo, huh? All right, well, cast Devoted Druid. And pass the turn <laughs> with Vine's backup. <laughs> oh, I wish we would have kept some of those pump spells. How shuffling behaves in MTG? We don't necessarily win next turn. We don't necessarily win next turn. We do get to draw a couple of cards about it, though. So hold on to your hold your hold your hats. There's a tog. Doesn't matter. That is awkward, considering that we have to give our devoted druid trample to win potentially. So they can just like sack their whole board, block with Atog. Hmm. Oh well, we have clear the mind too, so we can just make this enormous. All right, turn comes back. Let's see if we can win. Oh, there's groundswell. Man, if we can hit a land off one of these first couple of draws, we should be so good. But I don't even know if I want to go off this turn. Like, I think I just leave Vines back up, get a draw a couple of free cards, and just, you know, like, wait. We don't, like, we can't really do anything here. Because we can only cast one pump spell, and it's Groundswell, which gives plus two, plus two, which draws a card. So I think we actually have to wait until next turn, which is super unfortunate. I don't know if we can, though. Yeah. I think we have to wait a turn and hold up Vines. We have a blocker for Atog, and if they try to team or battle rage, then we can just hit Atog with it. So let's see. They might just Galv Blast Devoted Druid. I mean, it's kind of scary. Mirror Enforcer doesn't matter. Potentially, yeah, we could just use an early fate transfer. They have a lot of toughness, but Clear the Mind should get Devoted Druid's power up high enough that it doesn't matter. And that'll also include a couple more fate transfers to kill other blockers. Alright, so we will go to blocks here and block a tog. Opponent is tapping some mana. Yep. Tapping a lot of mana. So they could have fling. It was me. Yeah. I'm all over it. They could have TBR. If they have TBR, TBR we're dead. I don't know what we could do. Like, if we try to combo off, I don't know what we could draw to stop it. Nothing, I don't think. What's up, J101? Yeah, we do have to worry about Metallic Rebuke. It's true. Well, they can't TBR in Metallic Rebuke, I don't think. Oh, yes, they can. All right, well, if they have Metallic Rebuke, then pretty sure we can't stop it. So sack this for green and vines your Atog. I think we can make two mana, but we can't make three to stop that. They muddle. Dang. Does that just mean we're dead? I don't think that necessarily means we're dead, right? So, yeah, I think we have to... Okay, so untap this. We could pump this by a lot, potentially. <laughs> uh, add green. Groundswell. No, we are, because they can just sack the rest of their artifacts. I guess I should wait until they do that. 
So let this go through. And see if they sack the rest of the artifacts. Okay. Well, we have to we have to groundswell anyway cuz what's this 18? So 8 plus 9 is 17, 21. So we're pretty much dead. We are dead now. Cuz I misclicked. All right. We wouldn't hit another pump spell anyway. So we're dead. Okay. So that was rough. Um definitely bringing in dispels. We'll probably bring in hydro blasts and natural states and that should do it i think tangle might be okay um we can take out git probes i don't think we have to be super quick about this although i do like a taxian probe um probably gonna need vitality charm for the trample we might be able to go down one vines because their targeted removal isn't uh it's really good against atog though um we can probably go down our glistener elves to slow down and maybe there is a couple of these sideboard spells I don't want. Maybe the dispels don't really matter. Maybe we'll go like this. What's up, MT Mentad? How you doing? We are just getting into match one here. And I was close. Yeah, it is pretty cool tech. Maybe one dispel over a natural state. All right, we get to play first again. And we got a commune, we got devoted druids, and we have natural state. So I'm pretty into this. We'll keep. This is a pretty good hand. No pump spells. Oh, Marilyn, no. All right, so we'll play forest here. And if our opponent goes any destructible artifact land, it's going bye-bye. Turn off for devoted druid, be damned. We might even want to wait to commit Devoted Druid until we can hit another land drop to leave up Hydroblast anyway. Although we can, we do have the opportunity to just cast two over the first couple turns and commune to find Ocular Halo. Well, you can follow me! <laughs> you can't follow, we, you can't be in the winner's bracket if you'll be following me. That's just silly. Cool how the draw engine is what eventually kills the, the opponent. I agree, Graham's number W. All right, so they go black mana for Navigator's Compass. All right, so we will natural state your vault in response. Oh, yeah. The tempo is well worth it. And Preordain is a great draw there. So we'll go basic land cycling, get island. And we just want to hit another land drop so that we can protect Devoted Druid with Hydro Blast. That was pretty sweet, though. Island. I mean, if we hit Ocular Halo, we'll probably keep it. Um, don't want either of these. Oh, <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dang. They got it. Well, we'll see if they can kill a Devoted Druid. I mean, there's... Oh, okay. All right, so play Devoted Druid. Man, ah, oh. We're close. <laughs> They are playing a spicy affinity list over there. All right, let's see what this is. Green mana. Yep. You got it. So they're going to turn that into a swamp. Or an island. Okay, sure. For thought cast. Yep, can't do anything about that. And they can't metallic rebuke here, so we are going to resolve our ocular halo. But I don't know if we want to start going on. If we don't hit, like, scour the sands, oh, groundswell. We don't have the land to go with it. Hmm. And this way we're not going to have blue mana either. I think I want to play another Devoted Druid and just leave up um, Hydro Blast and hope to hit... Yeah, I'm going to play another Devoted Druid, leave up Hydro Blast, hope to hit a land to trigger this Groundswell next turn, and then try to go off. Because that way we'll even have a little bit of extra mana. All right, opponent lets it go. Cool. And we can use this to cast a pump spell on this after Halo's resolved. Granted, we can't save it in response to removal. All right, let's see what our opponent's got. Yeah, 
Which will be tough. Will be really tough. Carabas Forger, sure. Because the rest of our blue sources are Lotus Petals and Tap Lands. It is very fragile. So you guys think that's what's going on here, huh? So we go one, two, three, four. Without hitting a land drop, Groundswell does not save it from Galvanic Blast either, so we have to pass here. Until we find a land. We can commune with the gods for Seal of Strength. I actually like that. Okay, let's commune and see if we can find Seal of Strength. No. Oh, oh we probably could have comboed off. Okay, so all those go in the bin. That sucks and is a little dangerous with reference to fizzling because mutagenic growths are super important while we're comboing off. Oh, God. <laughs> Prophetic Prism, yep. Yeah, big oof. Oh, our opponent's tapping out? Okay. If they don't hit their land drop, I'm probably going to try at least going for it next turn. We're definitely committing Halo next turn. I think we have to. They're going to attack for four. Yep. Yeah, that was a pretty big whiff there. But you're like pretty like okay. So I think we should be all right here. So one, two, three, four. Player land drop just in case we have to groundswell in response here. We're gonna try it. Play Ocular Halo. And groundswell our druid. Untap. Draw card. Oh guys, this is dicey. This is real dicey. Happy to have clear the mind, but oh, we're going to fizzle. We're going to fizzle so bad. Preordain. Oh, that's not good. We get one more draw at this, and Devoted Druid is definitely going to die. Seal of Strength. Ugh. I can feel the fizzles, though. Like, I can feel it coming. Lotus Petal. So Fate Transfer is helpful here now. Seal of Strength. Okay. We can also preordain, but I think we want to wait. We definitely want fate transfer. Another halo. Okay, so another halo is good, which means we can clear the mind and try to go off again next turn. I like natural state for the red source, but it's definitely weakening us a little bit here. Um. Okay, let's draw one more. We have the lotus petal if we need it. Two lotus petals. What does that do for us? All right, so let's go Lotus Petal for blue and Preordain. There's Shape the Sands. Shape the Sands on top, Forest on bottom. So go Lotus Petal and green, Shape the Sands. That'll draw us a few more. Oh, come on. I know there's not many pump spells left in the deck. This is going to be tough. Very tough to go off here. <laughs> All right, Vine's Devoted Druid. <laughs> ah, this is so stressful. There's so many pump spells, but we milled so many mutagenic growths. Shape the Sands. We also can't cast our Clear the Mine now, so we have to be able to hit for 26 off of whatever pump spells we do draw. There's Hydroblast. I mean, we could hit the other two natural states and blow up a couple more lands, which would be helpful. And then just put them back in our deck. All right, Groundswell. We'll also get to kill their creature. Natural state. <laughs> What's up, Happy Popper? How you doing? Fate transfer. Okay, so I don't know how much power this druid has right now. But I think we're going to just draw... Uh, even We can't draw the rest of our deck. Okay, so 9... So it's only got 18 power right now. Right? So we got to keep going. We can draw the rest of our deck, but we don't have any more blue mana to cast another Fate Transfer. Is the awkward thing. Oh yeah, and we need to find the petal. 
that's totally true. Ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, untap. Make green. Untap. Make green. Vines. Untap. Draw. Come on, Lotus Petal. Untap. Draw. No Lotus Petal or Pump Spell. Uh, ah! I think that's it. Because now we just untap. Oh my god, this is so awful. We were so close, guys. Because now we just untap and we can't keep going off. Ah! Okay. Untap. So, super anticlimactically, we are just going to tap for green. Natural state your Great Furnace. <laughs> and discard a hand size. Oh, that's brutal. Okay. Yeah, it's awkward. It happens, though. All right, so we'll discard Devoted Druid. And I guess Ash Barons. Thornwood Falls. An Ocular Halo. Couple of preordains, maybe just one preordain. Keep the hydroblasts in the natural states and the untapped land. Oh damn, guys, we we're so close, so close. Okay, um, I guess we'll get rid of commune. Alexa play in the end by Lincoln Park. <laughs> All right, so they go red mana. For Crack Clan Shaman, you got it. Yeah, the hand looks all right. Crack Clan Shaman's awkward, obviously. Play Chromatic Star, so opponents tapped out again. Although they do have Crack Clan Shaman, and we don't have a way to protect our Devoted Druid in the meantime. All right, so we draw a mutagenic growth. That's interesting. So play a land, and I think we natural state first. So natural state your probably prophetic prism. Only cast commune when you have all the other pieces. Yeah. And clear the mind on myself. We only have 12 minutes, too, so that's that's worth knowing. <laughs> All right, we find Preordain. So I think we want to leave up Hydroblast here just in case they try to cast Atog, and we can counter it. All right, pass the turn. You want a primer on this after the stream? I'd love to try to help. I don't even know if I'm qualified to do that yet. <laughs> All right, we're taking four. It's totally possible that our opponent could just, like, destroy us with the Kark Clan Shaman here, though. All right, what's this? Atog. All right, let's try to counter. So Hydro Blast, counter target spell if it's red. And we don't really have to worry about this until, like, I guess we could try to kill it next turn, but we could just find another Devoted Druid and another Ocular Halo. Find Seal of Strength. Okay, so we'll preordain first, just in case there's a reason to be conservative with our mana. Um, I don't think we need any more lands. Find Commune with the Gods. We have Fate Transfer in hand, so that would be a fine play to try to find another Devoted Druid. And then we can try to Hydroblast this on end step on our turn before we play the other one. So let's commune. Find another Ocular Halo. We lose, we lose a Fate Transfer into Shape the Sands. So yeah, comboing off looking pretty precarious again. Especially where our opponent's at 26. That little incidental life gain did wonders for them, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> Well, we can't, you can't really play scared like that. 
So opponent's going to Galvanic Blast our face. Okay. You got it. We're at five. We don't have to clear the mines, no. Usually once through does it. All right, so they're attacking with both, sure. So we will go to blocks. Hmm. Yeah, let's block like this. Let's go to one. And we'll seal strength here to save our devoted druid. But they're at 26. Like, I don't know if we have... Like, we'll have to get pretty lucky to win here. Hydroblasting Atog. We might have to. Yeah. So opponent's going to sack star. You got it. Sure. So we will... Mutagenic growth. If they have another Galv Blast, we lose, but... Okay. So let's start go. Let them draw. And then we'll mutagenic growth. Yeah, this is tough. <laughs> and they sack another star. Okay, so... Yep, they're going to let it go. We lose a couple spells. We go to one. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> Probably dead. There's not many universes we live in. Do they just have Gal Blast? Oh, okay. They had, we were dead the whole time. Okay. <laughs> um, so this hand is okay. We have a Lotus Petal that we can sacrifice for this Preordain if things start to dry up. We have Glistener Elf plus a way to defend it. Um, and if we just draw one mana green pump spells, we might be okay. So I think we're actually going to do this. Um, just because it has Glistener Elf in the opener. I mean, it's not ideal. We don't have a ton of lands in this deck. But we have a couple of redraws. And hitting a blue source will get us there. So we're going to do it like this. Let's see what our opponent's on. Oh, elves? Looks like we're going to try to race elves to combo off, gang. Let's see. Oh, Thornwood Falls. All right, so let's have a look at our opponent's hand first to see what we should be afraid of. Uh, two lead the Stampedes. That is definitely something to be afraid of. Okay, we'll draw. Island. All right, well, that'll let us preordain this turn, which might let us find our Halo early enough for it to matter. And let's do it like this. What's up, Cop 4? Um, we'll bottom Thornwood Falls. We'll bottom Mutagenic Growth. We just want hate. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, next turn, we're going to play Devoted Druid. And then the turn after that, we're going to play Ocular Halo. And we're going to try to combo up. You know, likes Dags? Mikey likes Dags. <laughs> Oh, uh, why'd you get censored for saying Irukun? That's weird. All right, there's Elvish Vanguard. Are our elves better than our opponent's elves? That is a good question. All right. Well, they get to cast lead the Stampede next turn. So we shall see. It's on the extreme mismatch lands. They're trying to salt us into oblivion. So we'll go ahead and cast Devoted Druid. Hopefully draw a good pump spell. We don't draw another pump spell. That is that is sketchy. Like, we do need more pump spells. <laughs> pump their Vanguard for them. Um, I don't know why... Why would I need, like, a Lotus Petal out to Vines here? I probably don't, right? Nah. Well, I guess there's no, there's no risk in it, so we'll cast it. Yeah, we minus one, minus one elves. We don't do any of this stupid four fouring of elves. All right, pass a turn. And if we can hit enough pump spells next turn, we might be able to win. We really don't want to let these lotus petals go unless we have to. All right, let's see, opponent. It's kind of, t we have a lot of Phyrexian mana spells too, so Elvish Vanguard makes that awkward attacking here. Miracles with all white border lands. Oh, the salt mine. What did you play in, uh, what else? Like, where did you play Legacy? It's so, it's so cool that, like, people play Legacy. I wish, I wish I could play Legacy. It seems like one of the coolest formats to me. Most of the content I watch is Legacy content. 
All right, opponent's going to give us a turn without leading. So next turn is when they're going to start making a million elves, which is when our life becomes incredibly precarious. We draw Fate Transfer. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Um, all right, so let's... Hmm. All right, let's do this. So we'll Vines Devoted Druid with Kicker. Untap. Tap for mana. Untap. So I guess we are kind of committing to going off here. Tap for mana. Untap. Tap for mana. Sack, or well, Ocular Halo. We want to make sure we do that. Let's see if our opponent knows what's going on here. On tap. Tap for mana. Untap. Fate transfer. Onto Lizalana. Minus one, minus one, counter, counter, four. <laughs> and we're going to draw five. Just hoping to hit some pump spells here. Let's go. Pump spells. Groundswell. That's a pretty big draw. Let's play our tap land, regretfully. Groundswell. <laughs> Being on the edge of your seat is wearing you out. All right, let's see if we can do it, guys. Draw a card. Ash Barons, not what we want. I mean, the fizzle chance is, like, probably too high, but I enjoy playing it. Shape the sands. <laughs> Here we go. Trying to raise elves. Ooh, another shape the sands. That's a lot of cards drawn. All right, keep it going. 12 cards to draw. Lotus Petal in hand to fate transfer again. There's another ground swell. <laughs> oh, this is sweet. Keep it going. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have a fog. Well, they don't, because we know what their hand is. All right, we'll get Taxi and Probe. All right, yeah, two leads. Another Glistener Elf is not what we're looking for. Preordain. We could do that if we have to. Ocular Halo. Mutagenic Growth. Beauty. <laughs> Top Deck Gods. At some point, you can just draw your entire deck. But I mean, there is a chance that we fizzle. Like, it's always, it's an ever present risk. I don't think we should, but there's a chance. Seal of Strength. <laughs> Come on, off and turn three in front of elves. Is this what justice feels like? It sure is. We kept our seven, too. This is, this is all deck, no London Mole. All right, Groundswell. <laughs> Keep going. We still have a fate transfer to find. I might not be paying as much attention to the chat as I should be because I have to focus a bit here. Shape. Untap. Draw a card. Oh, man. Every game win is going to feel good. I don't know how many we're going to get, but every one of them is going to be great. Hopefully this is a game win. I'm not sure yet. There's Fate Transfer, right? No, Gitaxian Probe, okay. It's a free draw. Yep. We draw Forest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, gang. There's Fate Transfer. So it has 21 power right now? Well, we should just keep going anyway. Right? Oh, yeah, and they can untap a creature instant speed, so we have to hit Vitality Charm. So actually, this is a little sketchy. Honestly. <laughs> I 
Mutagenic growth. Hey, thank you so much for the bits, Marilyn. Wow, thank you, man. Untap, draw a card. Another halo, that's not good. Draw a card. Seal of strength, okay. Add mana, seal of strength. We do have to hit our vitality charm. We can kill ranger, but they can untap another creature to block. So if we don't hit vitality charm to give our creature trample, we can't win. Which is a little unfortunate. There's vines. Um, what we could do though, okay, so what we could do is go to fate transfer, and then when this tries to target, yeah, so we can fate transfer now, and then when they try to target their creature, we can vines it and then just swing for lethal. Does that work? Do you guys agree? Does that work? Yeah, okay. So let's go lotus petal. Crack for blue, tap for green, fate transfer from Devoted Druid to Quirion Ranger. Yep. And so now they're going to untap something. Oh, they just let it go. Okay. Um, all right, well, put a minus one, minus one counter on Devoted Druid. Go to combat. Swing for 25. <laughs> We got there. <laughs> All right. That was fun. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, bring in the gut shots, and that's probably all we're going to bring in. We might need another vitality charm. That seemed a little dicey, but <laughs> thanks, Proteus. <laughs> that was fun, huh? Woo! Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Okay, um, so I don't really know what we want to go down here. I guess Vines isn't super important, but it is cool. What's up, Blazilla? Yeah, my, well, that's 100% of the games we, we've done well in, so <laughs> I'm glad you're here for it. Um, we definitely want the gut shots. I think we're going to have to do some trimming. So maybe, oh yeah, we probably don't need Glistener Elf. I'd say Glistener Elf is probably bad here. And we can probably go down one Vines, although it may save us. C -c 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 combo boy head popium <laughs> oh it's tough though guys i think maybe we trim one probe and one maybe a commune commune's so good though Add popium uh maybe even a mutagenic growth mutagenic growth is is critical to the combo though like that's that's the tough thing like going down any pump spells is really really hard <sighs> i think one vines is fine I'm not super happy about it, but I think going down one vines is fine. Can you guys think of anything else that could be cut? I'm not super comfortable with anything else, but we need all four of these. Commune kills your pump spells. It does. Commune does kill the pump spells. But it finds the combo so well. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's try it like that, I think. Yeah, I took it maybe maybe probe over vines. Because it's just air. It does, it keeps you going, right? So this deck needs to draw cards efficiently for what mana it has. And this kind of like stops the consistency a little bit. But yeah, I, I could see going, keeping in the uh, the other vines and going down a probe. Given that we might need vines to win. Charm Charm's good, but I think, yeah, I think we actually probably will need to find the charm to win. Which, is, which makes me happier about going down a vines. Although I prefer Vines to Charm. But let's try it like that. Thank you, Lenkenzi. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's see if we can't do this again, guys. Turn three combo kill. Feels good. No mulls. Woo! I'm I'm confident, I'm more confident because they didn't see the line with Quirion Ranger, but <laughs> what's up you is in the water? It's uh it's going. Oh, we have Devoted Druid, we have Gut Shot. We gotta get Taxi and Probe to keep the cards flowing. I think I'm gonna keep. We're like a commune away from this being a pretty good hand. So I actually am gonna keep this. This can hit a Priest of Titania or an Elvish Vanguard early, which I think is uh is good. My record is updated, isn't it? Oh no, I guess I didn't. 
Sorry, that's my bad. Thank you. <laughs> Hello to my future self and others watching this on YouTube. <laughs> Hello, future he who is in the water. All right, and we got lots of blue mana, which I like. Because we could hit cantrips and stuff, and if we can leave some extra untapped blue mana for our combo turn, I will be smitten. Yeah, everybody say say hello to YouTube. Say hello to like the, you know, thousand some odd people that watch the replays. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. So yeah, so given that we're given that we're trying to like that that's a lotus petal thing, right? So if you can sneak in another lotus petal, like if we can be confident enough that the London Mulligan helps enough and that this combo is fast enough, we can probably take out another land for another Lotus Petal and use an off-color win condition as opposed to Vitality Charm for Trample. Uh, for something like, you know, to just generate a ton of mana and win that way. Alright, an opponent's going to pass here. And <laughs> see yourself in chat? Yeah, it's like... Tell your future self something right now, guys. Everybody think of your future self potentially watching this on YouTube and just, like, give yourself some advice for tomorrow. Hmm. All right, let's probe. We might want to preordain this turn. Give us some information about what they're doing. Give us some information about what we're doing. All right, so they're a little choked on mana. I think we should kill the Birchlore Rangers next turn, probably. There's Fate Transfer. Okay. Well, we don't have any... Hmm. I guess I can just go land lead next turn. There is... Do you guys think there's an argument here for just killing Llanowar Elves with Gutshot? Quit playing bad decks and giving away play points. <laughs> he who is in the chimney, a.k.a. Santa Claus. <laughs> drink more water. Oh, guys, I drink so much water. Um, all right, so Groundswell and Gataxian Pro will go to the bottom. Commune with the gods. That'll help us find Ocular Halo next turn yeah because we kill this right then next turn they go forest birchlore rangers but they have no elf to follow it up with so i actually think i am gonna go for it yeah let's let's do that so kill this and pass the turn we can commune next turn to see if we can hit halo opponent goes forest and very likely a birchlore rangers yep all right they have another one drop to follow it up. They don't. They just clear the mind. Well, that's good. If we're going to have to commune with the gods some pump spells away here. Um, I think I'm going to Devoted Druid, though. I think I'd rather have the extra mana next turn because that might allow us to shape the sands and like do a combo. So <laughs> I'm going to go Devoted Druid here. And pass. But they're not really rushing us, so I don't see any reason why we would do that. Oh, nice. Okay. That is ideal. All right, let's see what we draw. Another commune. That's good. So let's commune. See if we hit Halo. Come on, Halo. Ooh, we hit Halo, and we didn't hit anything all that important on the way to the bin. So I think that means next turn, we're going into combo territory, gang. We got to shape the sands to help us out in everything. Right? Exactly. That's why I love Shape the Sands too. The combo is coming, everyone. Fasten your seatbelts. We even have the extra blue mana for Fate Transfer. Like, this is... this is pretty great. Oh my god, guys. Who... Jay, is it you that counts how many times I drop my phone in the run of a stream? Ugh, okay. Well, guys, here we go. It's combo time. Can we get a timer for the combo turn? Oh, that would be sweet. It shouldn't take that long. It usually doesn't. We draw forest. That's pretty good. I don't know if I want to hit my land drop yet. Yeah, I probably do. All right. So, ocular halo. They might have gut shot too. Just in case they do, I think I'm going to shape first. Hey, welcome. Thank you for the follow, Jing Asian. All right, so tap this. Play Ocular Halo. I guess they could have vines too. Hopefully this works. It only has one minus one minus one counter on it right now, so it doesn't really matter. 
Untap, draw a card. Land. That's not good. Draw a card. Lotus Petal. Draw a card. Seal. That's good. Play Seal. All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> Pray to the top of the deck, everyone. The phones are dropping left and right. Drop counter one. <laughs> Groundswell. Did we make our land drop this turn? We did, right? Untap land? Yeah, let's go. Plus four, plus four. Keep drawing cards. <laughs> and with the fate transfer and the ability to get another one through our deck, I think it's almost deterministic at this point. But we don't want to call it too soon, because fizzling is possible. There's Vitality Charm for Trample if we needed to, though we won't. What if they have a Fog? Like, is that a thing? Mutagenic Growth. Dear God Almighty. <laughs> you could even do a Creature Heavy Elves deck with this combo. You could. Elves is definitely a good matchup, because they're not trying to interact with us. Another druid. We don't want that. All right, this is our last one before we fate transfer. Maybe we should just fate transfer now. Yeah. So tap for mana. Untap. Blue. Fate transfer. Or should we preordain? No, we should fate transfer. We have Lotus Petal in hand, so we could preordain here. To see if we just keep going before we fate transfer, because that lets us draw more cards. I don't see why we what we're risking if we don't. So let's preordain first. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so put on top, put on top. Seal of strength. They may have a fog, that's true. We have clear the mind. We're just not gonna bother playing around it. So shape the sands. It still doesn't have 20 power, by the way, so we're not all the way there yet. Granted, we can draw our entire deck to get there. So we'll leave one card in our library to draw next turn. And at this, yeah, at this point we should just have it, because I think we can draw the rest, yeah, we can draw the rest of our deck. There's the other fate transfer. We'll be using the first one momentarily. And what's that? Nice. Flate, fate transfer into fling. Flate transfer. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if we... You could somehow make this combo faster, right? All right, is there any point continuing now? Uh, maybe. I guess we do kind of have the extra mana. All right, so keep going. This is kind of just for the sake of it. I guess we should just see, because we can, right? So we should probably just see if they can stop us here and just try to win. Okay, so let's go green mana, play Lotus Petal, sack for blue. I guess we should untap this first. Sack for blue, fate transfer from Devoted Druid to Birchlore Rangers. And hopefully we got it. 21. And we can keep comboing off in combat if we have to. Hey, we got him! Sweet! <laughs> We're on the play. Two and two. Let's see if we can win. Oh, it's the same opponent. Guys, it's the same opponent. This, is, this isn't this is good. It's the same opponent. They're on elves. I don't know. Should we, should we keep this? We have the combo. We just need another mana source. I think we do keep this. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Man, Automod is feeling frisky tonight. All right, here we go. Thornwood Falls. Pass the turn. Preordain next turn. If we hit a mana source, we should be okay. And opponent goes Mystic, which we know about. Hopefully we put on just as impressive an imp <laughs> a performance this time. That many Ocular Halos is far from ideal, though, I will tell you. Oh, this is tough. 
this is really tough. So I think Ash Barons is actually fine here. Um, it doesn't really matter so long as we get to land next turn. So I think we are, we're going to go bottom and we're going to top Ash Barons and just play it and pass the turn. We don't need our blue mana until the turn after we play Devoted Druid, so it would have been sweet to hit Devoted Druid there, obviously. Yeah, same Taco Cat. Just to see what they have, that's true. But I don't really want to sacrifice the life, especially where they can put pressure on. I'm trying to be less tipsy, you still have one turn to play. <laughs> get yourself together, Marilyn. Jay, go get something to eat, man. Eating is important. It's more important to kill people. Alright, here comes Elvish Mystic. And you know what? My effing phone's in my pocket again, guys. Or it's on it's on my lap. I could have dropped it. Lotus Petal. Okay, well that doesn't really help us combo off this turn. Honestly, nothing does. So we'll play Devoted Druid, gonna power up the priest. And we'll pass the turn. We do get to attempt to go off next turn, but I don't know if we should. <laughs> we would have to draw Shape the Sands or something like that to convince me that it's time. I don't think it is, especially where our opponent isn't pressuring us with anything. They lead, okay. We probably shouldn't turn off auto yields, just in case. Yeah, I'm a little I'm just a little worried about like being slow here and them putting pressure on us in the meantime. I am, however, okay with this going to one toughness and then let's see what they lead it into. Nothing good. I guess they do get to Lizalana. That we can't deal with. Um, it, it happens to me more frequently than I wish it did. So if they have another one drop in hand, if they go Lizalana one drop, they get to make another token and they get to start kind of doing their their crazy elf thing. Pretty early. The turn three decks face off. <laughs> and honestly, Drifty Boy, now that I'm thinking about that line, it's almost more worth it because you get more kind of like junk out of your deck. All right, what do we draw? Vines. Okay, well, I don't think it's worth trying to go off this turn. I think adding, I think getting the extra card is more worth it, especially where they only have three cards in hand. What's up, Ut Volkarin? All right, so untapped Devoted Druid. There just might be too few people, exactly. And we'll Ocular Halo up Devoted Druid. And then probably play Lotus Petal just in case. And pass the turn. Just in case we have to do something, we might have Divines. Uh, we have Trample. So Vitality Charm allows us to Trample over for Lethal. But we have to find it. That might involve us drawing our entire deck. In a two, if there's two people, you'll 100% find it, yeah. So I guess you're right. The chances do depend on how many people you run into. All right, we'll see if we can't combo off next turn, I guess. They're going to Wellwisher. That's trouble, if that survives. I never thought about Wellwisher. Well, we found our target for our gut shots next game, gang. It's on the bottom now, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. So we'll see what we draw next turn. We got a little bit of mana to work with. Not enough. All right, what do you have? Two cards. Yeah, so when I was adding... Oh, they got all the good stuff. So if we don't win next turn, we're pretty much dead, <laughs> basically. Especially if they have Query Ranger. And honestly, with Wellwisher, I don't think we can win anyway. Like, if they get one tap at a Wellwisher here, even with our Clear the Mind, I think they can still... I think we still don't win. And it's just kind of a waste of time to try to combo off. That would have been good math to do. Oh, there's Groundswell. We don't have a land. Okay. Let's draw a card. Let's see what we find. Probe. Okay. Keep going. No cards to see. Find Commune. I wonder if it's worth it here. Yeah, even just finding Fate Seal almost buys us a ton of time. Not really that much time, honestly, but a little bit of time. 
And we have some card draw to work with here. So I think I'm going to go. So tap for green, untap, tap for green, vines. Yeah, because I can't really let them well wish her. Draw a card, Thornwood Falls, gain a life. Now we got Groundswell. All right. Untap, draw. More communes is not what we're looking for. More Lotus Petals is not what we're looking for. I guess we could Desperation Commune looking for... Ugh. A seal? There's Fate Transfer. Okay, we should be all right now. <sighs> all right, so add green. Untap. Or actually, we can draw an extra card here. So draw a card. Put a counter, untap. Sack for blue. Fate Transfer from Devoted Druid to... Well, Wisher. And then keep going, I guess. Draw 12 more cards, hoping we can draw the rest of our deck. More Halos, not what we're looking for. <laughs> Seal of Strength, that will help. All right, so we got to play this really carefully. We have we don't really have any Lotus Petals to play around with because we might have to loop our deck to get our creature up to a high enough power to actually kill our opponent with trample damage. Yeah, we're going, guys. We're going to try. Oh, yeah, opponent has to hate this. Just constantly getting goldfished. They're going to think this deck is, like, OP or something, though, because we're making it look pretty good here. All right, so vines, kicker. It's going to take a while. What turn is this? Turn five? That's pretty good, right? That's that's a it takes a little while, but like it's one of the later times we've comboed off. 31 cards left in library, so we can't just draw... Oh, there's Vitality Charm for Trample. Anybody want to help me do the math here? How much power do we need to trample over? I think we do have to clear the mind. Yeah, that's true. If there's any player to Goldfish, it's the Elves player. There's a chance I don't even want to cast these Gitaxian Probes because... They go back into our deck when we... Yeah, I actually probably shouldn't cast the Phyrexian Mana Spells. Or I, could, I shouldn't cast Gitaxian Probes. Seal. Oh yeah, Shape the Sands, way better Ancestral Recall. By a lot. By a lot. Especially in this deck, but in, in some other decks too. We're not done testing Shape the Sands yet. Do you know what's annoying? Having to scroll your hand. Maybe we're supposed to just draw a bunch of cards and then go look at what pump spells we found. Which is almost none. So if we fate transfer onto... If we fate transfer onto Lizalana, they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 toughness to block. So we'd have to swing for 28. And we have we don't have 28 power yet. So we once we're done drawing our deck, we'll see if we have to... Uh, We'll see if we have to loop. And I mean, we might hit, like, Preordain or something, which is pretty awkward, because if we loop our deck... So maybe we should hold on to a couple Gitaxian Probes. That's a good reason to hold on Gitaxian Probe. Vines, okay. I actually don't know. I think it's just, like, it's hard to justify the mana. And I'm really sorry for being less interactive tonight, guys. I'm I'm deep in the tank, making sure that we don't just, like, time out. Opponent's making a sandwich. I don't... It doesn't feel like they've f 6 yet. I just gotta make sure I don't deck myself. So we can draw the rest of our deck now. 
yeah, we could draw a couple of things that would fizzle us here. So there's fate transfer. Oh, but actually, we could just like, yeah, I don't know. Draw eugenic growth. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty sweet, actually. That does make more insurance for winning. How big is this going to be? We do have one pedal, but we have to use pedal to fate transfer. I guess we could just keep drawing cards with Devoted Druid. It's honestly not a big issue at all. I think I'm panicking for no reason. <laughs> It's huge now anyway, right? So it's like it's got like 30 plus power. So unless they have they don't and they can't have a fog. So I think we actually just win. And there's clear the mind. Okay, so let's play Lotus Petal. And we have another pedal to cast our clear the mind if we have to. And we have Vitality Charm, right? So let's just let's fate transfer. Where's the fate transfer? Do we have fate transfer? We do, right? Oh, we don't have Fate Transfer yet. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, Sack for Blue. Tap for mana. Maybe we should float some mana. Probably not, though. I don't think this should matter. So, Fate Transfer from here to... Oh, ah, yeah. We should float another mana. Fate Transfer from here to here. So it's a 3759. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight toughness to get in the way, and they're hellbent. Target creature gets plus one, plus one, and trample until end of turn. And we win. 46 minus one, minus one counters. <laughs> cool. All right, we got another one, guys. We got another one. <laughs> Thirty-seven fifty-nine, fair and balanced, just as Richard Garfield intended. Everyone, okay. Gut shots come in, and I think we knew how we did our cuts last time. So we're gonna get rid of Glistener Elves. We're gonna take out a couple of good, uh, maybe a Commune, and now let's leave Commune in. I like Commune a lot. Leave in Commune. Probably just take out a. Uh, a Vines and a Gataxian probe. Because we need probes to go off quickly enough. You need to see the burn matchup. We got him on turn three. Even better because it's elves. Tangle is good? I think Tangle's okay. It's hard to make cuts for it here, though. That's okay, Jay. See you tomorrow, man. Alright, guys. Here we go. Hitting it again. Yeah, oh yeah, you just always have mutagenic you have mutagenic growth or a pump spell in hand. Alright, Taco Cat, is this gonna be the one? I mean we're low on time, but I think like I I think they're mostly just dead to the combo. Like if we can get the combo off the ground. So if we're uncertain, I think I rushed it last time because Wellwisher was there, so that was kind of necessary. But if we're uncertain and we feel like we have time, I think we should wait. I mean, it just feels so good to draw my entire deck. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow seven Cs ago. I appreciate that, man. Welcome to the Jake Bank. Yeah, it's it's a pretty fun deck. I've enjoyed it thoroughly, for sure. All right, guys. What, what's Taco Cat doing over there? They're trying... Maybe they did go get a sandwich. They're, they're not saying anything in the chat log, so they're not, you know... They're not being at least overtly salty, but they could be of a generation before the chat log was evident. That is a thing. There are players. Oh, this deck's so fun. <laughs> it does feel fast, too, eh? Like, it feels like it puts itself together pretty quickly. Uh, no. Unfortunately not. I wish we could keep this, but we can't. This guy and his whimsical nonsense again. <laughs> 
you can write that on my gravestone. It's not you might have to adjust it a little bit for gravestone etching, but I would I would be fine with that going on there. All right, got a mulligan. Uh, we've got a redraw. We've got a gut shot, and we know what we should gut shot, and we have enough mana. So I actually think I'm inclined to keep this. We could just draw pump spells for the rest of the game and lose, which isn't ideal. <laughs> We're also putting Vitality Charm on the bottom of our deck. But I actually think I am going to keep this. I like Gutshot, especially because we saw we saw how well it put them off last time, so I am going to keep. We'll put Vitality Charm on the bottom. See what opponent does. Land, Lenowar Elf, I'm assuming. Yes. Oh, man. Another Ash Barons is not what we were looking for. We have to get lucky here, guys. We also have to play fast. So they have a forest and they have priest. But if we kill priest here, again, like they're they're not doing a whole lot. They're shaped the sands. Um, I think we almost want a thin here. Uh yeah, no, getting the blue source down. Well no, we can even still do that. So play land. They have forest in hand, which is why I'm not killing this. And they have priest of titania, which is probably what I want to take out, given that they'll be on two forests. They will have virtual rangers plus another elf, but gotta do what you gotta do. Frangie Banji, this is a tough keep. Because there's going to be just a lot of sitting here drawing. But I was hoping I could slow them down enough with Gutshot like I did a couple of games ago. It's true. It's true that we're not doing anything. We could draw combo pieces, though. Uh, we could also get really unlucky with a couple of commune with the gods. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so opponent going to go forest, and most likely they're going to go priest here, and then Burschler Rangers. Yep. And Virtual Rangers, sure. So lead the Stampede is one of the only cards in their hand, and they, unfortunately we don't really have any way to prevent them from casting that next turn. Um, I wish I did. Mind Slaver and Popper, right? All right, so let's do some thinning. Hopefully we find a Preordain, a Commune with the Gods, some Gataxian Probes, and not just a jillion more pump spells. <laughs> but it looks like that's going to be the path we're on tonight. So we'll just keep doing this. Pass the turn. Our opponent is giving us time. And this is the downside of the deck, right? Maybe we should mulligan more aggressively. Maybe that's the lesson from this keep, is that mulliganing more aggressively is just way better. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you don't you can't oof, right? I kept it. Oh, that's an oof, though. That's a pretty good oof. Opponent can get in for two. Fallen King, what's up, man? How you doing? Find Gitaxian Probe. I will want to see. I think I'm gonna. I kind of want to shuffle first here. The thinning might actually matter a lot. All right, Gitaxian Probe. You, Lizalana, and lead the Stampede. Pretty strong hand. <laughs> we draw another pump spell. <laughs> Play an island. Pass the turn. I mean, we're not dead until we're dead, though, right? <laughs> There is a lot of variants. We have preordains and stuff. But yeah, now we're just sitting on a jillion pump spells and no glistener elves to back us up. We had a gut shot instead of a glistener elf. Me too, Fallen King. We even got a match already. Pretty early match. Life is a resource indeed. It's also a highway. I don't know if you guys are familiar um, with that that philosophy, but life uh, a resource and a highway, actually. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. And just like chain through it. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Poggers. So see our opponent leaded. They leaded quite well by the looks of things. Virtual Rangers comes down. Now they have four mana. Here comes probably Timberwatch. Timberwatch closes this game out so fast. It's like not even <laughs> reasonable. K of Avalon, Mono White Elves is a little meme that we put together that uh, that has to do with playing all the elves that aren't green um, but are, and are specifically white. Um, and one night, everybody in my chat, including the Maverick Girl, was trying to get me to play it like a bunch of meanie heads because I would lose. <laughs> there, are, there are multiple iterations of it out there. 
Uh, there's devoted druid. Guys, there's a non-zero. There's a there's a chance, right? There's a chance. Block here. Take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's a chance. Play devoted druid. <laughs> it's not a very good chance. Tinted, what's up? Welcome. Welcome to the drink bank. I hope you're doing great tonight. We're going to have to do some wonky math here. Pump their creatures. Frangie Banji. I'm almost, I'm close. They only really have to play a couple more elves, which I mean is not unrealistic for their deck. And they're fine. <laughs> you did play it against me once, it's true. Oh, that, yeah, that would be nice. I, I'd prefer that. Oh, man, if opponent has even, like, one more elf here. Do they just have another lead? Oh, Quirion Ranger? No, that's game. All right, cool. So we're dead here. And just in the interest of time, we're going to go back to sideboard. So hopefully when we're on the draw this game, we'll be able to take him out. I don't really know anything else I want to bring in. Vine seems better than I thought it did. But I think the problem and the error there was mulliganing. So let's, <laughs> let's mulligan correctly. Definitely a mulligan. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's so close. We just need a mana source. We don't get scries anymore. Oh yeah, fate transfer is actually kind of cool. That'd be really that'd be that'd be sweet. There was a noise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, we definitely have to mulligan this, unfortunately. Taco Cat having a pretty difficult time with their mulligan decision as well. Yeah. I think mulliganing more aggressively is, is a fine move, especially with this deck. You think in general? Alright. I'm with you. I can take that as criticism. If you draw no line of play, mulligan. Yes. Absolutely. One combo piece minimum. Ash Barons is kicking my butt here. I think I think these should be evolving wilds. I don't even know. Like, where did this come from? Okay. All right. We have to keep this. We're gonna bottom shape the sands and clear the mind. And we gotta hope for our druid. We have a blue source. Cataxian Pro B. We might find tap land. All right, they don't have a super fast start. Find Shape the Sands. Nice deck. All right, play a forest. Say go. <laughs> yeah, it is. I do like mulliganing more aggressively for sure. I like the Evolving Wilds change a lot. Hmm. So they only have two forests. I think we certainly gut shot here. Because gut shot can't kill Timberwatch Elf anyway, so I think we do gut shot here. And pass the turn. Keep hoping we find what we're looking for. <laughs> oh, Mulligan, the crap out of you. Yeah. That is that is how it should go. There's Fintorn Elves, and opponent's gonna pass. Okay. Ooh, okay. Well, gut shot this. And hope they don't find another land, I guess. But we're not in, we're not in super good shape. We're not doing anything, and they have a lot of elves that could just get them out of this. Uh, that's it's okay. I would like to gut shot that. Another land doesn't do it. Part of me wants to preordain here, but I don't think we can really chance the lotus petal. Not yet. I don't think we're under enough pressure to do that. You want to play with the stream bot Fallen King? I had someone else set it up for me, so it's it's somebody else's kind of brainchild. All right, our opponent is going to make life really difficult for us with Well Wisher here. What's up, Mr. Big Stuff? How you doing? So Virtual Rangers comes down. They decide not to play unless they're going to tap this for mana, which I'm cool with. And down comes Timber Watch, which does give him a pretty good clock as well. Yeah, I think it is time for... Unless they lead here, they might lead here. Uh, 
I don't actually. What what happened with the dollar signs? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that would that would definitely mess the bot up. We draw mutagenic growth. Okay, I think now's the time. They have Timberwatch down. They have Wellwisher down. Those are both threats that we can't really muster dealing with. We unfortunately have to keep a blue source if we find it. Neither of those are blue sources. We'll keep Commune. We might find Devoted Druid. Hopefully we don't bottom a bunch of blue sources. We find Seal of Strength and pitch a bunch of blue sources plus a Fate Transfer. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, we're probably dead. <laughs> Well, we are going to find it next turn. The special characters, and they're in a particular order, which in... Oh, weird. Oh, is that what happened? And my clear the mind is on the bottom. Yeah. Well, it looks like elves may be evening things up against us here. And we definitely have to clear the mind to win with Wellwisher on board. Unless they can do Can they just call us here? No. They would have to have... Oh, they're going to lead? Okay. Oh, another Timber Watch. Okay, well, we are pretty much dead now. And we find a forest. Okay, play Seal, play Forest. But I can't imagine us coming back from this. Pass the turn. Variants get you sometimes, gang. Variants just get you sometimes. Yeah, the fat lady has not sung yet, but she's about to. They're going to lead, and then they can priest for a bunch of mana. Like, there's a very there's a very small chance we're not dead. I'll say that much. Middle dot. Whoa! Yeah, that's pretty nuts. I think I think Evolving Wilds is probably a lot better than Ash Barons in this deck. I liked Ash Barons because we were going to have untapped forest on turn one pretty often, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really see why it was relevant. There's Lizalana. So two Timberwatch is plus 10 now. Plus one, two. Oh, yeah. That's plenty. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're dead. All right, guys. Not even very close, but okay, YouTube. Sorry, everyone. Um, we ended up keeping our seven. On turn one, we probed them, found out they had these cards. Uh, prismatic strands in hand that sucks um and then we preordained found devoted druid on top we're gonna play it next turn and then hopefully commune into our ocular all right so go land they might have interaction now which isn't ideal but i think we go for it so let's devote a druid unless they drew it we might have them in a couple turns. But they can leave up Prismatic Strands soon. <laughs> Which is problematic. So Radiant Fountain was one of their draws. Let's see what this is. Prophetic Prism. Okay. Sure. Find Commune. So let's start with Commune with the Gods. Found Ocular Halo. There goes Clear the Mine, though. Go get some green mana. Play it. And pass the turn. So we'll see if they leave up strands this turn. I doubt they will. I really don't like not having any way to defend Druid here either. But I'd rather we kind of get through this period where they can hold up their interaction than... Flaring Pain, that could be cool. I like to spell. Yes, we have Fallen King a couple of times. Three games, I think, we've won with the combo. They're going to go ahead and Prism. All right. Probably to get up to Galvanic Blast Mana, I'm assuming. So we're going to go Prism. Play a Tap Land. All right. So some non-zero number of pump spells here can win us the game. Draw for turn. It's a Preordain. Come on. <laughs> Well, I'm going to put one counter on it. I don't see why that's risky. Besides the fact that we lose our Ocular Halo, I guess. But I don't think we can wait another turn. Because they can just start leaving up Prismatic Strands. So let's see. What do we draw? Ash Parents. 
and eugenic growth, cataxium probe to start. Glistener elf. All right, pass the turn. They haven't found any interaction yet. Alchemist vial, sure. Alchemist Vial does kind of suck. I guess we have to find vines to stop that from working. And they could draw a removal spell here, of course. Ah! <laughs> okay. Um, that sucks. So I think we want to let this go. Because they can pick it up with a Skyfisher and deal with another one. Yeah, we had to whiff pretty hard, but now we're going to play Glistener Elf. Preordain. Bottom. Maybe we top ground swell. Yeah, let's top ground swell. Actually, no. Bottom ground swell. Top Glistener Elf, though. Play Glistener Elf. Play Thornwood Falls and pass the turn. The problem with Burn, longtime lurker, YouTube viewer, what's up, metagamies? I hope you're doing well. Glad you're here. The problem with Burn is you let your opponent play. My decks are red white, turns for modern, and Zubera Storm for popper. Once you start your combo, your opponent has to sit and watch you play it with yourself. <laughs> yep. Seems good. All right, so opponent playing some pretty good blockers for our Glistener Elves. They're gonna flash back their prismatic strands, and we're gonna get a we're gonna have to wait another turn to combo off if we do draw a devoted druid. So they'll be able to interact in the meantime. And now we have to kind of wait until we have interaction up. And don't want either of these. Fate transfer. <laughs> Alright. Uh let's cycle Ash Barons. Get a forest, play the forest, commune with the gods. Don't find anything. Yikes. Okay. And I guess we pass. Do we want to trade with the birds here? Probably not. Oh yeah, red white turns is super cool. Use like glorious end? Yeah. It is a real deck. With like a bunch of planeswalkers, right? With uh, Gideons and stuff? Uh, I don't think I want to trade immunogenic growth with birds here. I mean, it's it really sucks that the fate transfers happen, but, you know, it's all good. We'll play the long game here. Once they can leave up strands, though, you're like, we're in kind of a decent amount of trouble. But we were close, guys. We could have comboed back when we had devoted druid in hand. Immunogenic growth was close to the top before they had a chance to find a removal spell. Lotus Petal, that doesn't do anything. All right, go to combat. We will swing with our elves. We have to try to do something. Okay, I think we want to trade with this Skyfisher because it's such a good blocker. Oh man, this is instant speed. It doesn't really do anything, I guess. It being instant, but opponent's gonna prismatic strands, sure. On green, you got it. Now they get to attack for a bunch of damage next turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if they have Galvanic Blast or Lightning Bolt, we're dead. Yeah, red white does have a lot of play against this deck. You are correct. But we almost comboed off in turn three and one. So you know what I mean? Like if we, if we can get the combo to be consistent, we might have it. I think we got to take these bad boys out, though. These bad boys being metamorphoses to try to rebuild the combo while our opponent was down on interaction was probably the best way to build it. So we'll get one more draw here, but there isn't that many things, and they just have the bolt for the win. All right. So for Monarch, we want natural states to try to slow them down on those artifact lands, and we want dispels. I don't think stopping their burn spells is going to do anything. Um, I don't think we need Vines of the Vastwood as much in this one. I don't think we need as many Gitaxian probes, but we probably want a couple. So we're going to have a couple probes. And 
Probably the close near elves. They just have so much removal. All right, let's do it. Yeah, we got to go turbo combo. I think that's just what the deck is supposed to be. I think it's just supposed to be a turbo combo deck. And I'm trying to get cute with everything else. But we did win a few games, guys. <laughs> Vines needs to stay. Okay. What else do we take out? Maybe go down like a... Oh, too late. <laughs> I think it's Ocular. We have Devoted Druid, we have our second Mana Source, and we have Commune with the Gods, plus a Redraw, plus a Natural State. I think I'm inclined to keep this. That's pretty good. All right, let's see if we can get Taxi and Probe into an untapped land here, and see if our opponent has removal for our Devoted Druid. And now they, now I don't know. Did I spell it wrong on everything? That's totally possible. Oh, Sundial of the Infinite loses you the game. Oh, dicey. Let's go, Wheeler. Dang it. <laughs> Lightning Bolt, my nemesis. Not anymore, I guess, though. All right, so let's go Thornwood Falls, and we'll pass. They also don't have any... Uh... <laughs> they don't have any... Uh... Whatchamacallit? Artifact lands to play. So we're looking a little funny with these natural states. We draw another Thornwood Falls. So I think we'll just play that. And that'll let us untap land to go Devoted Druid into something to fizzle their Lightning Bolt next turn. Plus we can natural state the Alchemist file if they choose to play that for some reason. Granted, they can just play Crack Clan Shaman next turn. And then leave it up to sack the clue, but it can't kill Devoted Druid on the spot, so I'm not super worried about that. So we'll cycle this for green. We have to spell too. Hmm. Alright, so play an untapped land. Play Devoted Druid. Yeah, because they don't necessarily have multiple ways to kill it next turn. Now, I don't think Hydras are worth it. We can counter most of their burn spells with pump so i think i prefer that um we pretty much have to hit next turn to win we have to like combo off super fast <laughs> to try to win so our opponents gauging whether it's worth it or not to play alchemist vial this turn or they do play vial okay sure draw a card in comes the thraby baby no thraby baby so we will natural state your alchemist vial turn comes back Draw land. So let's go commune. There's ocular halo. Okay, we have a couple of ways to defend our druid now. So I think we just play Thornwood Falls and pass here. And hope we got enough. I think so, yeah. That is a line. We have a path to victory. We would prefer to vines kicked on our turn. And hopefully we just draw another pump spell next turn. That would be ideal. Standard bearer! <laughs> well, we have vines, I guess. But they can... Ah, actually, we have Dispel for Lightning Bolts as well. So, it's not over yet. But, I mean, we have to time it pretty carefully. Yeah, I'm not going to untap to steal one damage here. Seal of Strength. Okay, guys. Let's try it. So, land... Vines does work. Can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponent's control this turn. You Vines their standard bearer, and then I have Dispel... What? Oh! Yeah, spells I, spells I cast can't target it. I still have to target the standard bearer? No, I don't. Oh, wait. My opponent's control. Target creature can't be the spell... I'm good. Does Vines work? Yeah, you give Standard Bearer Hexproof. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you have Vines Standard Bearer. That works, doesn't it? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Sure. Nope, doesn't work. Ah, oh, heck. 
<laughs> no, it doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> You give your standard hexproof from your opponents, not yourself. Okay, well, that didn't work. <laughs> All right, play seal strength. Pass the turn. It's okay. I thought that worked too. Oh, well. Pass turn. So now we can't do anything. We pretty much lose because we don't have gut shot. <laughs> I guess, yeah, we don't have our infect creatures either. So what can we do? <laughs> I mean, there, we can't win. We just lose. Yeah. All right. So uh, we have no way in our deck to answer standard bear here. If we look at our sideboard, we have gut shots. But in our main deck, I guess we could fate transfer. Yeah, we could fate transfer to it, I guess. So... Not we could fate transfer to it. We're not completely gone. We don't have very much game against Monarch, it's true. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh damn. They had it right on time. And we were a little too slow. Yep, three baby comes back. It doesn't, okay. Glint Hawk. I don't think we have zero game. I think if we combo off on turn three, we still win, but <laughs> we're pretty much done. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's a combination of cards that can win us the game. Like we can, I guess we can play Drew. Yeah, actually we could kill the standard bearer. I'm going to make them kill me at least. Or wait, does, hold on. Just a sec. Hold on. Does fate transfer have to target it both times? No, okay. So can I still use... Yeah. Fate Transfer would work. So we'd have to play Druid, put a counter on it, play Fate Transfer. I mean, that's a lot of stuff that's got to go right all at once, and Druid can't die in response. I mean, might as well try it. Yeah, running the clock doesn't really do it. Ugh, standard bear. I should have known. Let's commune. See if we can't find our... If we hit both of our fate transfers here, we're real dead. See if we can't find our devoted druid. And then we'll sandbag it until we can fate transfer onto standard bear. Another ocular halo. Okay. <laughs> Not ideal. Pass the turn. We're at 13. A standard bearer is a very confusing card. I think it only has to be one of the targets. So why do people target standard bearer with vines? That doesn't do it, eh? Oh, it's Chomano's Blessing. That's what I was confusing with. So people put Chomon's Blessing on standard bearer so they can target their own heroic creatures with their auras. That's what it is. That's what I was confusing it with. I get it now. And we're dead. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm sure they have a burn spell. But we'll let him show it to us. The deck is sweet. I don't really care that I'm losing. We won three games and a match. 2-0. So. <laughs> and I do think we got a little unlucky. I don't think we got spectacularly unlucky, but I do think we got a little unlucky. No, there's, there's factually no way we win here. Yep. That's it. Match five against Claudio0907. And we've got Halo, but we don't have any card draw. I think we got a mulligan this. Uh, this is worse. This is much worse. We're going to be going to five. The delay is really high? Oh, that's not good. That's true. All right, let's go one more time. We have a combo piece. We don't have any card draw. But I think we have to keep this. We still have enough lands that we get to play magic if we do find card draw, so I think I am going to keep. But it's probably not going to go super well. I don't want to go to four. 
maybe we have to. We could just draw a Devoted Druid. There's a lot of things here that, that help us out. So I think we're going to bottom Groundswell and Forest. It could be. Yeah, that could be it, Fringy. Play Thornwood Falls, pass the turn. It is amazing. Yeah, it is what the what the Magic Online team can do is pretty amazing. Oh man, it looks like we're gonna have to raise burn. Yikes. Let's see if we can do it. Devoted Druid. Dang. Thorma Falls ga we're gaining life anyway. <laughs> Hopefully our Hydro Blast will help us post board with this. Yep. They rift bolt us. Mutagenic Rose is gonna help here. Yeah, I think we have to combo off super early to have a chance here. Mutagenic Growth will help us exactly once, but if we just play Devoted Druid here... ...and then use Mutagenic Growth to help it now, we don't really get to draw any cards. Which is not ideal. There's Preordain. I like that. Come on, Druid. Or Commune. There's Druid. Bottom the Fate Transfer, top the Devoted Druid, play a Forest, <laughs> play Devoted Druid. We're going to get to draw a couple cards next turn. I don't know if we're going to win, <laughs> but we are going to get to draw a couple cards. So Searing Blaze doesn't do it. Opponent's going to ping us. Yep. And Chain Lightning Devoted Druid. Okay, we will Mutagenic Growth. Paying life, unfortunately. And what's this? Lightning Bolt. Okay. So we can't save it now. <laughs> Let's go burn, says Frangie Banji. Get out. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> hey, man. We could do it. There's ways. Shape the Sands would have helped a lot last turn. And I mean, if we do draw Druid now. We got time. We got a little while. Not very long. We do have a little while. All right, let's see what this is. We also get Hydro Blast post board, which is kind of nice. But if we do win the post board game, we have to go on the draw. But burn is burn is burn. And they are drawn like nuts here, as they tend to. Ugh, Needle Drop is such a good card. Yes, Thermo Alchemist does the pinging. There's Glistener Elf. Play Glistener Elf. Pass the turn. <laughs> Glistener Elf with non-evasive damage seems pretty anemic here. But maybe they'll throw a burn spell at it. I don't know. It is the Lightning Rod. And honestly, I think we kind of need it in this matchup. Like, we'll probably take out the probes for Hydro Blasts. Yep. Does one. We go to eight. They did. They killed it. Okay, cool. We want this for our Devoted Druid. We got a seven. They do have three cards in hand, though. We could just die. Yep, Lava Spike. They also Needle Dropped a bunch, so their hand is is pretty good, I'd assume. We got a six. A one. Yeah, we, we definitely can't win from here, right? Even Devoted Druid is not going to do it. But we'll go looking. We will go looking. Vines. All right. Uh, I guess we don't have to concede. You believe in a child with a nerf gun trying to fight a monster truck? <laughs> that's that's one of the funnier comparisons I've ever heard. For sure. And needle drop. That does it. Okay. So. We will bring in... I think... Is Dispel worth it? Do you guys think? So... I like these spells for probes and maybe even one. Hmm. Probably clear the mind. I can't see why they have enough creatures why Trample can't kill them. Yeah, I think so too. All right, let's do it that way. All right, we would like to play first. Okay, it's not ideal, but it can do the job, so we'll keep. And we can protect Glistener Elf here, so I think 
I'm inclined to do that. We have a Hydro Blast in hand. We have a bunch of pump spells. We have commune to find combo pieces. We have Glistener Elf to potentially win the game. So I think we are going to keep this. We'll go get blue mana with our Ash Barons and leave up Hydro Blast for their turn two and then play Glistener Elf. Granted, getting green mana here is probably just as useful because we can get green mana, play Seal of Strength, and then play Glistener Elf. So another Trample effect would have been good. There's me to Genic Growth. Okay, so go get a green source. Play Glistener Elf. Oh, man, come on. No, that was kind of a punt, guys. That was kind of a huge punt. All right, let's see if they kill it. <laughs> oh, God. They play Thermo Alchemist. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, guys, that is big time punts. All right, so we go to end step. We draw. Glistener Elf. Which makes me kind of want to just, like, Hydro Blast this. Hmm. All right, go to combat and swing. Let's see what our opponent's doing. They do block. Okay, so I think I am going to trade life for mutagenic growth here. And we'll play Glistener Elf. And do we play Seal of Strength here, is the question. No. I think Hydro Blast protecting a Glistener Elf puts our opponent super far behind. So what's this? It'd be sweet to catch a Searing Blaze. Okay. So Hydro Blast on Searing Blaze. I mean, they might still kill one. And suspends Rift Bolt. Okay. Sure. Three cards in hand. What do we got? Ocular Halo. <laughs> All right. Play Seal of Strength. Go to combat and swing. And I'm going to Seal of Strength here because they're tapped out. Um, and I'd rather not get caught by one of their removal spells, Instant Speed. All right. Our opponent goes to five Infect. We can hit for one, two, three, four. We can put them to one in terms of Infect next turn. What's that? Oh, Mono White Elves, yes. And thank you, Proto. Yeah, the, the attack first was definitely the play. And our opponent does remove our Glistener Elf, so are they just going to keep on the control plan? Two mana. Did they make their land drop? Suspends Rift Bolt. They didn't make their land drop. So Groundswell can save this from Searing Blaze. They're going to Fire Blast us down to one land. Okay, we go to 12. Two cards in hand. They Needle Drop us. Sure. And are they going to kill the Glistener Elf? It's a pretty good turn if they do. Skewer the Critics. Okay. So we can't save it from that. But now, opponent has one card in hand. And if we hit Devoted Druid, we could potentially win. So I'm going to commune with the gods looking for a Devoted Druid. We found it. All right. Living on a prayer. Opponent's got one card in hand. We can save Devoted Druid exactly once. And a land lets us Groundswell into Ocular Halo to try to combo off. Oh, Martyr be the only reason. Yeah, I can see playing Scared of Martyr for sure. They're going to spend another Rift Bolt. We're at eight. We've probably only got one turn to play with here, gang. Dispel. All right, well, we can save Devoted Druid. We won't be able to leave up Dispel. But it doesn't hit anything right now anyway. So play Devoted Druid, pass the turn. Ideally, we'll hit a land drop next turn. Doesn't really matter what kind of land drop. So let's see where this goes. At us. We're down to five. So land one burn spell doesn't do it here. 
Martyr of Ashes. That doesn't matter because they don't have the mana to activate it. So pretty happy that we get to use Mutagenic Growth to draw cards. Granted, we are at three. What do we draw? Land drop is actually best draw. Fate transfer. We won't have blue mana to play around with, but we might hit Lotus Petal. All right, guys, we're going. Here we go. So one, two, Mutagenic Growth. Paying life. Untap. Tap. Ocular Halo. Untap. And we have to ground swell for two here, I think. We can draw a card first. Draw a card. Hydro Blast. Counter. Add mana. Groundswell. Untap. Draw a card. Thornwood Falls. Uh. <laughs> Untap. Draw a card. Swirl the sands. Just too late. Just too late. Ah. Uh. Yeah, and we're we're like almost one hundred percent dead here. That is that is super brutal. All right, Swirl the sands was just too late, and our combo goes away, and that's probably it. If we would have hit this, if we would have hit it, we might have had it. That was close. But I think Burns almost definitely got us here. Yep, go to one, and there's the match. Hello out there in YouTube land. Thank you so much for watching the entire league. I seriously appreciate it. As you guys saw, this deck can combo off really fast. We fizzle a couple times and we had the opportunity to combo off early in the game, allowing our opponent to dismantle our combo and causing us to lose. So it looks a lot like a glass cannon deck and that's because it's exactly what it is. We've modified the deck by taking out a couple of Glistener Elves for Mana Morphoses and we got those Ash Barons out there for Evolving Wilds. Hopefully we can get the consistency of the deck up a little bit and see if you can combo off on turn two or turn three against some opponents. All in all, it's a super fun deck. You get to draw your entire library and then kill your opponent with a massive creature who doesn't innately have any power. So I do recommend you try it out despite our league results tonight. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the entire league out there on YouTube and for sticking around for the entire stream out here on Twitch. Thank you guys so much. Have an awesome night.